Hi, I'm Charlene Stevens. Welcome to Council Update. Today's topic is the Hero Center. Joining me is Councilmember Steve Dennis. Councilmember, this is a project we've talked about a few other times, and it's a project that continues to move forward, but is, of course, contingent on some state funding. But we did take some actions to make the Hero Center kind of shovel ready if we are successful in receiving state funds. And, and we do hope we get that mm -hmm. success. So, uh, real quick, the, uh, the Hero Center, because people hear that acronym, yeah. well, what does that stand for? It's Health and Emergency Response Occupations. So that's what that means. Uh, we did provide uh, approval for a conditional use permit last night for the site plan and preliminary and final plats for the Hero Center. Now this is a joint venture between Cottage Grove and Woodbury and it's going to be an integrated public safety training facility with sim uh, simulation rooms, classrooms, indoor fire range, there will be an outdoor multi-purpose training field, a dog training course that supports SWAT and other scenario-based training such as a vehicle extraction center. Um, this will be located on approximately 9.1 acres on the southeast corner of 85th Street and Keats Avenue, just north of the City Hall. This has been a project that's been in the planning stage since 2011, so there's a lot of work that's gone into it. And uh, right now we currently would be looking to move from design and planning phases towards approval to be what we call shovel ready. Right. Uh, we're currently in the process of securing the funds from the state. Uh, so far we did receive $1.45 million back in 2015 for the bonding bill and that included uh, planning and design work. Uh, we have asked for about $9.9 .9 million altogether from the state uh, and then we're waiting as you said for that approval and then uh, what would happen then based upon if we get that money then both uh, the city of Cottage Grove and Woodbury would then split the rest of that cost and I can tell you as a former law enforcement officer and especially one that was in the training realm uh, this would be a much needed facility for us uh, to take care of and help with both of the communities here locally to make sure that our people, which already do a fantastic job, but make sure that they're properly trained and outfitted to take care of all the needs we have as a growing community. And one of the reasons we've asked for some state funding is that we believe we can also serve the East Metro Regional Area, and that's why we would like the, the state to be a partner with both the City of Cottage Grove and the City of Woodbury. So once we have that, we will be shovel ready and can move forward the project. Yes, and hopefully by, by getting some of the other organizations to come in, we can, we can help to support that financially. And then uh, there will be some public components there as well, such as uh, use of the firing range. That's right. So it'll be a good amenity should it happen. All right. For more information about the Hero Center, contact Public Safety Director Pete Kerner. Thank you, Councilmember Dennis.